So now we're going to write the code for depth first search post order. We'll bring up our tree like this and our call stack and start writing our method DFS post order. The first thing we're going to do here is have our results array just like we had in pre order and we'll bring that up like that. And I'm going to bring in the function that we had in pre order. This is the one for pre order. To change this to post order, all we're going to do is this. We're just going to rearrange the order that these get called. And just like we did with pre order, we're going to call the function starting with the root. And we'll walk through this using that call stack. So at the root, we're going to put 47 on there. The first thing we're going to do is say, is there a node on the left? And there is. And we're going to go to the 21 node and push that onto the stack. And then the 21 is going to say, is there something on the left? And there is the 18. And it's going to go left and add that onto the stack. So the 18 is going to look left and there isn't anything there. And then it's going to look right. And then it's going to push its value into the array. And the process of pushing that into the array is the last line of the function, which means we can pop that 18 from the call stack. So then 21 is the top of the call stack. It has already gone left. So now it's going to go right to the 27. That adds that to the call stack. The 27 is going to look to the left. It's going to look to the right. There are no nodes there. So it's going to push its value into the array. And we can pop that from the stack. The 21 is at the top of the stack again. It's already gone left, it's gone right, and now it can push its value into the array. And now we pop that from the stack. Now the 47 is the top of the call stack. It's gone left, now it needs to go right. And that's going to be the 76 node. We'll put that on the call stack. And the 76 is going to look left, and there is an item on the left. And that's the 52 that gets pushed onto the call stack. The 52 is going to look left. It's going to look right. There are no items there. And it's going to push its value into the results array. Now we can pop the 52 from the call stack. 76 is at the top of the call stack. Now the 76 has already gone left. Now it can go right, which pushes the 82 onto the call stack. The 82 is going to look left and right. There's nothing there. It's going to push its value into the results array. We pop that from the stack. And now 76 is at the top of the call stack. It's already gone left. It's already gone right. And now it can push its value into the array. We pop that from the call stack. 47 is now the top of the call stack. It's already gone left and right. And now it can push its value into the array like that. And the 47 will pop that from the call stack. It was the node that we had called with the original function call here, which means we are done running those functions. The only thing left to do is to return the results array. So that is our code there. And we'll build our same tree that we've been building all along. And we will expect to see this array when we run the depth first search post order method. So let's flip over to DevTools. There is our depth first search post order method. Let's scroll up here. This is creating that same tree, and this is the array that we would expect that method to return. So let's zoom out here, and I'll come up here and run this. And this is our tree here. I'm not going to open that up this time. I'm just going to clear this. And I'll just do the up arrow here. And DFS post order returns this array, which does match this array. And that is our method for depth first search post order.